Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you are new, my name is Samantha and if you're returning, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my entire contemporary handbag collection. Now, there are some that are quite new and some that are like way back high school slash university days. So please don't judge those ones. I'm gonna get started right away with Ted Baker. These are the really recent ones that I have bought off of Nordstrom. And if you were following with me during the quarantine time, I did vlog about these or show them at some certain point. So this one is an imitation croc leather with silver hardware. So this one is a circle bag and it's quite hard. So you can hold it like this. There is also a crossbody strap inside. So it's basically the same material and I haven't worn this yet. I bought this during quarantine so I haven't had the occasion to wear something with a light blue circle bag. So this is what the bag looks like entirely. And as you can see, the tag is still on it. I did get it on sale off Nordstrom, so that is also why I bought it. And I was looking for a light blue bag that I could wear during the spring and summer with, you know, some white sundress and that kind of stuff. My second Ted Baker you may have seen if you guys watched my how to style the pochette accessoire because I did take a chain from this bag. This one I got also on sale off Nordstrom. I really wanted a white bag that's also crossbody that I can use because I don't have any white bags and I do want a white Chanel bag but at this time it's not affordable and I don't have the lifestyle where I can wear a white Chanel bag because I definitely would make it dirty and that would break my heart so I wanted to invest in something that wasn't that expensive expensive like a Chanel bag but also something I can wear and looks modern and cute so this one opens like that has a white crossbody strap and this crazy statement strap for this bag this is one way of wearing it and this is what it looks like with the white crossbody bag so this is perfect for summer I can even just take this off and use it as a clutch so that is why I got this bag my last Ted Baker is from university days. I was dabbling in like, you know, luxury goods and that kind of stuff. So Ted Baker was something that I started off with because it was a lot more affordable, especially their accessories. And this was also on sale. So this one I would say is a wallet on chain. Comes with a strap that you can put on and wear crossbody, but I actually never used this. So this is in perfect condition. And I actually just used this as a full-sized wallet, which was pretty big. I did use this to its extent, but I had to just give it up because it was so big and I started carrying less and smaller bags. And every time I switched my bags, I would have to take everything out and move it to another wallet. And that kind of got annoying for me. I think I'm just going to keep it because I'm not going to get any good value of it if I do reset sell it. I think this will stay with me. I also did like it because it had rose gold hardware with this brown or tan so I thought that that looked really good. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to find something else to use the strap for because it's in perfect condition so I will have to see. Moving on, my next bag is from Coach and it is the Cassie bag. I did a review on it and I pronounced it Casey and now I know it's Cassie. I got the pink Aurora pewter finish Cassie bag and I only really got this because it was on sale. Otherwise, I would have not gotten it at all. I do think the black one looks a lot luxurious and better, but I do like pink and pink is my favorite color. So I really wanted to get this as well. And I do love how it has crossbody straps and a top handle and it fits a ton like i am surprised this is the crossbody strap that it comes with it's the exact same leather and lining and all of that it's the darker finish that goes around the bag so i've used this already three times and i got this also during quarantine time in 2020. i would definitely recommend this and i'm really happy that this is now in my collection especially because i don't own any coach bags not including coach outlet so this is my first actual coach bag so the next one is actually really close to my heart because my mom picked this up for me while we were shopping at the Hudson's Bay. We had a coupon that was like 40% off, which is a lot. And you get that sometimes from Hudson's Bay. It doesn't have a limit on what you can get sometimes. It's as long as it's one item. So she found this Marc Jacobs crossbody bag for me. It's not Marc by Marc Jacobs or whatever. It's actual Marc Jacobs. And it has a very heavy, nice quality chain. 
and it came with a tassel but i took it off it kind of looks similar to the ysl one but i just don't like something dangling while i'm walking i kind of like the more minimal look to it same as my coach bag there's like a tag that comes with it but i just took it off completely i don't like things dangling this bag was not my favorite when my mom first showed it to me but because it looks so basic and minimal that it ended up being a bag that i used every day like to work and from work everything and this leather is amazing quality the amount of times my my nails, my keys, things have scratched on it. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer. It holds up really well. Like the scratches actually melt into the leather and then you don't see it anymore. The only thing you really see are the creases from the wear and the tear. And this bag fits so much. So the only thing is that the hardware is kind of chipping off and all that through these years that I've worn it. But I'm definitely gonna keep this forever. And the leather is so good quality. I think it can last me until this hardware eventually turns silver or completely tarnishes even more. But yes, I really, really love this bag. And if you guys ever see it, I would highly recommend buying it. Next on the list is this funky but cute Steve Madden bag. And it is a backpack and it is so furry and so cute. It just makes me think of sheeps and like, I don't know, really cute stuff. It has a black leather straps or pleather. I don't know how you, how you want to call it. And this was on sale from Hudson's Bay. So I thought it was really cute for the fall and winter season. And I really wanted a small backpack, kind of like the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. But obviously I'm not going to spend $3,000 on that small backpack. It's just not for me. So I really like this and I've used this on hikes and everything. As you can see, my black sweater that I wear this bag, it transferred onto here and it kind of pilled on it. I can totally remove that, but I haven't worn this bag in a while. It's like summer now, so I'm gonna just wait until the next season. But yeah, this was super cute and it was really cheap too. So I'm not too worried about that for that reason. My next bag is this Aldo bag and it is mock croc leather. And yeah, it's from Aldo like, I really wanted it because it was so simple. It kind of has like that, I guess, Fendi vibe, but also Louis Vuitton maybe with a pochette metis or like, it was just very simple. And it also gives me a little, little Hermes vibe with the crossbody to wear because it kind of looks like a Kelly, but obviously not at the same time. So this one comes with a black strap as well. That's also in the imitation croc or mock croc. I don't know how you guys say it. And I just like it because it's so simple. It doesn't have a brand on it. When I buy Aldo and like spring and those kind of bags, I prefer something that's very subtle because I'm not buying Aldo for its brand. I'm buying Aldo for its style. So I prefer not to have like, you know, Aldo like splat right on the bag. This goes with any other bag. I just kind of like it when the logo is subtle except for Louis Vuitton with the canvas because that is obviously a classic and very well known. So yeah, the logo is here and I've used this bag quite a bit. The only thing is that it's very hard to open after a while. You can hear that squeaky noise. So it gets a little annoying when you have to close your bag and you're shopping and you're like standing in line and you're like trying to close it. So I stopped using this a little bit, but I have gotten a few wears on it. And this was like 20 bucks if I recall. I thought it was just a good investment for this little piece. Next on the list is my Longchamp bags. So I have two. I have this fuchsia one, which is a lot newer, but I do not like this bag at all. And I did do a review comparison video for both of these. So if you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. I'll put the info link bar up here. This is one of them. I believe it's the regular medium size. I don't know the different sizes, but the longer handle. And I also have it in the navy. And I have used this bag so much that the ends are starting to break or just wear and tear. But I love this bag so much. This one is made in France. And this bag I do not like at all. And it is made in China. Huge difference. Lots of people say there isn't a difference. But with these bag, there is a huge difference. So definitely check out that video. I don't own any Longchamp leather goods. So there, I don't know if the quality matters on where it's made. But yeah, these are my Longchamp bags in my collection. This was bought in Europe. And I just really like this color and how it's paired with this tan. It is probably the best work bag out there, like best. And I would say this is perfect for travel, which is why I got it because I do love how you can fold it. 
I ended up using this as a carry-on, I believe, after I bought it. So I had a smaller purse. So I stuffed that in here and along with other things that I bought that I couldn't fit in my suitcase. So this is perfect. If I could buy this again, I would buy 10 of them, but I don't think I could ever find another one that is made in France. I am definitely not buying another one that is made in China. I just don't think it's something that's worth spending your money on. So these are the two Longchamp bags that I also have in my collection. Next, I have this Karl Lagerfeld bag. Now, I don't know if this is considered luxury or contemporary, but I have no idea. And I already filmed my luxury collection bag, so I'm just gonna throw this bag in here. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think, if this is luxury or contemporary. Given that it is Karl Lagerfeld, I would have put it in the luxury collection, but I don't know. So this is a bag that I got way before I got my classic medium. Obviously, this is a lot more affordable, which is why I got this first, used it until I could get that. But just a little advice, if I were you, I wouldn't even spend it on something like this because after you do get your dream bag, the money that you put in here, you wouldn't even be getting back or it'll just sit in your closet for a while. So unless you are just looking for something similar and not planning to get something that you know that is the end game, just save your money and just get a different look, find a different style until you can get what you want. So this one has a flap at the back. So this bag has a general area, a zipper there, two flaps or two pockets here, and a zipper pocket in the front, which is actually really handy. I do really like this bag and I would recommend it. The only thing is that I knew that I was only gonna get this because it gave off similar vibes as that bag. So that is it really. It's not really, I, didn't, I don't think I stored it well. <laughs> But yeah, this is really nice. It's so soft, but if you guys get it, it will wear very easily. So be careful of the corners if you do own anything soft by Karl Lagerfeld. So my last two bags I don't use anymore, but I just want to share with you because I do find that they are quite cute. And this was back in my like early university and maybe end of high school days, I'm not too sure. And the brand, can you guess, it is Kate Spade. The first one is this bag and it has a bow on it, obviously the infamous Kate Spade. And there is a magnet and there's more pockets there. And then in the general area, there is a ton of space. There's a zipper and also two pockets here. So I really did like this bag because it had a zipper and it was just so handy. I don't have to worry about things falling out when it's raining. This material is so heavy duty when it's raining. That's one thing I really do like about Kate Spade bags is that I don't have to worry about it. So that is super handy. And the fact that the handles are so big, I could do on my shoulder and walk comfortably and I could just use it on my elbow, I guess. So this bag was well used and got my money's worth. I don't use this bag anymore. It's definitely a lot closer to my Salvatore Ferragamo bag that I don't really like. Also close to the Prada Galleria tote, which I do reach for a lot more, but this does give a similar vibe. My next Kate Spade bag is entirely pink and it is this bag. My mom actually bought it for me because she knows I like pink and she thought it was cute. I wasn't even with her when she was buying this. She was actually there on her own. Then she started sending me pictures. Do I like it? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I like it. It's pink. But like, I haven't really worn it. Like, obviously I'm gonna keep it because my mom thought of me and she bought this for me, you know? So it does have some sentimental value to it. But it's just so funny because if I were asked that now, if I wanted this, I would probably say no, but yeah. It's also good for the rain because I don't know, this Kate Spade, is it leather? I don't even know. And then it has a zipper in here so I don't have to worry about things falling out, getting wet or things being stolen out of my bag when I'm walking. This actually makes me miss Kate Spade stuff. I haven't gone into a Kate Spade store or an outlet in so long. It's really making me miss how carefree I can be with their bags, especially during the rain. So I don't know, maybe I will double back into Kate Spade or maybe Tory Burch depending on what they have available obviously and the price. I don't own any Tory Burch, so that's actually one goal that I have is to find a nice Tory Burch bag, which is something that I can always wear and is very easy to match. I was thinking of a tan crossbody bag with gold hardware. I do like the nudes and tans that they have paired with the gold. I think that looks really, really nice. So this is the end of my contemporary handbag collection. I believe I have showed you guys the entire collection. There may or may not be a few things lying around in my closet or my room, but I really don't reach for it. So it's not something that I do want to share, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would subscribe, 
hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.